Hey YouTube, what's going on? Cheeseboy628 here today giving you week three of season eight of the NPL. Oh boy, it is crazy, let me tell ya. Um, definitely not the start I'm looking for. Um, definitely I had some good battles thus far, like a 2-0 and a 1-0, pretty darn close, right? And um, I don't know, I just haven't found my footing yet. And so a little bit worried. You know, um, when you're two weeks into a 10 week season and you're already 0-2, you've got to, you got to get some footing. You've got to, you know, get your ground. So that's what we're hoping to do this time around. Um, it is 5.55. I have a haircut at 6.30, ideally. <laughs> so we'll see if we can actually do that. Um, I'll let the gal know if I uh, don't end up doing that because this is more important, clearly. Uh, let's talk about the team and um, perhaps what our opponent's team is. Took me a second here, but uh, <laughs> um, this is gonna load up in a sec. Here we go. Um, so me and Rob, because we have a funny relationship because I took his one Sandmon that he would want to use, but uh, too bad. Um, so he has Excadrill, Weavile, Gyarados, Tangro, Slowbro, Megaltaria, Lycanroc, Dusk Form, Cofagrigus, Mianxiao, Skuntank, and Hippopotas. And uh, so here's what I brought. We brought Wallbreaker, Kiram. It's pretty well against his whole team. It's got really good coverage. Only thing that I don't like about it is ICMZ. You know, it's only got one use. And um, I just use sub because that way, like, if Slowbro comes in, I get a free sub and I get to, you know, attack something. And if someone, if, like, he goes into Tangrowth after that and, like, trying to scout for, like, you know, the ICMZ to, for, so I can, like, use it up, I'm, I could, like, play safer if I'm in that position. But, um, so that's just a situational thing. Steelix feel it's going to be able to eat up a good amount of hits for sure. Um, Weavile in particular is what I'm worried about. Tangrowth. Um, yeah, Mega Altaria for sure. I mean, it could be special, so it might not be good in that way, but maybe. It's also got a decent amount of spadef to it, though. And uh, yeah, Toxic, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Heavy Slam. Pretty similar to last week. Um, we got Scarf Jirachi. I'm not going for the hacks this time, except for just straight up Iron Head. Another 60% chance of something that might go my way, might not. Guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, we got the Elemental Punches. We got U-Turn and Iron Head because Standard Dot. But then Fire Punch for like Exudrill and Weavile. I thought that was the best coverage to cover them, plus Tangrowth. But then we got Iron Head for like Altaria. Thunder Punch is for Gyarados. And um, that'll be funny to see how that works out if it does. Um, it hits 303 because I'm pretty sure it was to outspeed Gyarados at plus one. Because Gyar Dolly Gyarados is probably 302. I'm pretty darn sure. Um, okay, what was I doing it for? I don't know. <laughs> um, but the point is it outspeeds it. So that's, that's a thing. Um, getting back to the team. Uh, what did I want to outspeed? Maybe I wanted to outspeed Weavile, Jolly Weavile? No? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you had it for something. <laughs> um, keep that in mind. We got Volcanion. I just gave it mixed defenses. Um, if it wants to set up with something. In particular, I was thinking like Kofag. Then um, I got Roar. But otherwise, Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, and Toxic. Because I do not like his Tangara Slow Bro Core. And problem is for him easily able to take down through toxic so um not to mention volcanian is just kind of good against it so that'll be fun <laughs> um so there's that we got tapu bulu um this time a set that's not fully defensive uh we got sub and then we got sd or not sub sd we got sub i guess i do i am i what am i <laughs> we have sub sd and then horn leech but then for Tangrowth, we're just going to Toxic that thing if we get the position to. So just keeping that in mind. Um, then we got Tentacruel. And um, fully physically defensive. I really wasn't sure what to do with Tentacruel, to be honest. But uh, I mean, the idea here is it can hit Mianxiao really well. Natural special bulk takes on Cofagrigus. His team really doesn't like T-Spikes. Um, 
only thing is just like, you know, I have other mods that are already going for toxic. So is it really going to be useful? I don't know. Um, it could end up being the bane of my existence. Let's not jinx it, but uh, so that's essentially what's going on here with the team. He said to send a challenge when ready. I think he knows how I do when it comes to giving my little, um, for when I uh, do my little intro. But uh, yeah, let's check the moves and EVs. We seem to be good all around. So uh, cool. Something else I like to do when I battle is like, you know, just to get a feel for the team. But, and then like, if I have some kind of issue with the team, I'm like, why the frick did that happen? It's like, oh, I didn't put the right EVs or why did I put Stealth Rock again? You know, that kind of thing. So uh, um, you guys might not have seen, uh, um, what is it? My March Madness stuff yet? Maybe you have, I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> I'm recording this at the time that uh, sprites are laggy because of some Chrome update, I guess. Um, hopefully he's the one that links um, you too, man. I bet he was predicting me to bring Gigalith. <laughs> I haven't brought Gigalith once yet, <laughs> um, for better or for worse. He brought that slow bro, um, slow bro tan growth core. So that'll be a little spooky. Good on him to uh, bring um, Skun Tank. It's not like a super good mon, but like as a defogger, as a toxic spike absorber, it's a it's definitely a good mon there. So um. I don't know what to lead with, what to lead with, you know? Um, thing also like Skun Tank and Mianchao and uh, um, what is it, Tangrowth, all have access to good poison moves. I don't think Excadrill does. I don't think Excadrill does. It gets Sludge Bomb. Um, I mean, he has Iron Head. Does it even matter? What am I saying? <laughs> um, Ultimately, though, if he doesn't lead Mian Xiao, then I'm in a really good position. Otherwise, mm, I don't know. Should I lead Rachi? Wouldn't be a bad lead. Um, let's see. Something I should check, because that actually might be what I tried out speed. Um, does this hit 302? Probably. Yep, there we go. Now we know what we did it for. <laughs> um, I think we're going to lead Jirachi. That's my... Of course, he leads me uh. Um. So here's the thing. <laughs> um, if he's Scarf and he goes for knockoff, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> he could very well just U-turn, though. Because knocking off here... I mean, when you think about it, that's a really risky play. Um, and if I see that he goes first... Then, uh, if I see he goes first, I'm going to also, because I've just been so bad at this recently, I'm going to import my gosh darn team to the calculator, um, if I can ever find it, because I'm a million windows open right now. Um, not literally, but still. So, gosh, I'm already, I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> Um, we got Jolt versus uh, Mian Xiao. Um, choice Scarf. It go if it goes for knockoff, it's not going to do that much. Wait a second. This isn't in the right set I want. What the freaking frack? Um, I imported my sets, though. <laughs> We're going to refresh this. <laughs> Mian Xiao, standard. I was going to say, I'm like, that's doing way too little. It might just be custom set. Why is it level? Oh, do I not have names? I don't have names. I just realized I don't have nicknames. Sorry to displease. Oh well. Um. Anyway, so nothing is gonna kill me at the end of the day. U turn is gonna do twenty twenty four. Um, I just want to see if he is Scarf, I suppose. So let's find out. Question mark. 
Okay, I'm... He knows I'm Scarf. <laughs> he might just U-turn here. He might not. Guess we'll see. Um, Batenta is my play. So he goes for Nuck. Indeed, he goes for Nuck. Um, okay, so good thing I have crazy amount of Fizz death here, because otherwise that would have hurt. That Life Orb, he could be Regenerator. That would not be fun. Um, I think T-Spikes would just be a good play here. I think it would. He's free to U-turn, so it's like... Especially if he has Regenerator, there is no reason for him not go not to go for it. <laughs> yeah, but considering... Oh, okay. That's interesting. So he decides to do that. Um, he 100% has Poison Jab. <laughs> like, let's not even play around. Um, he might just go for Knock here. I think he's going to go for Knock here. Um... But, uh, right. So this is fine, kind of. <laughs> um, ultimately, I'm probably just going to have to go back to Jirachi. Otherwise, he could go to Volcanion. That would apply a lot of good pressure. Um, force him to HJK. Something we could calc right now is, you know, we got my Tentacruel. Custom set versus Mian Chao. Now we know it's Life Orb. HJK is 41 to 49. And it did 45, so yeah, it's, it fits fine. <laughs> um, or wait. Does he have Reckless then? Is that what we're, that's that's what I was trying to see, if he has Reckless. Um, I think he does, yes, he, unless he's adamant, which wouldn't make sense to me. So that's kind of nice though, because that means he's not gonna get that regen boost, and that is good for us. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go to Rachi. And it's kind of tricky. I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't call it tricky, but, like, Iron Head for sure is going to kill. No doubt in my mind. What am I doing? Custom set. Iron Head to 60 to 71. I can't imagine him wanting to, you know, just give it up so fast when it's a really good wall breaker for his team. It's his, easily his fastest thing, of course. Um, yeah, I guess we'll press U-turn. Good. I'm glad I didn't make a terrible play. Um, Cause I'm good at doing that. So I'm just gonna bring this in. We're gonna go for the Rockos. If he has Flamethrower, that's fine. I don't think that's gonna do too much to me. Scun Tank, Physical Defog um, versus a Steelix. Custom set. Um, let's say he has Fire Blast. Special Defog. Fire Blast is not going to do that much damage, so... Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about going for rocks right now. So he goes into that. That's fine. Um, Heavy Slam does a lot, naturally. <laughs> Which is good. Um, I'm just going to press Toxic. He has Sleep Powder. Did not expect that. Um, that's very interesting. I don't know what I want to do here, you know? Um, I'm tempted to go to Volcanium. Um, tempted to go to Volcanium. I mean, but if you get some nice, good old grassy damage on me, I'm not going to be a big fan of that. Um, 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 I mean, I could just go to Kiram. Like, what would be wrong about going to Kiram right now? Not a lot, I'd say. Oh, well, there's that. 
Um, so it doesn't know if I'm Scar. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to Tapu immediately. And then I'm gonna scout for Poison Judo. Kind of have to. That sucks. My one fast thing. I mean, I only have I have two things right now that are good against me and Shao. Unfortunately, well, we lost Tentacruel too early, um, but that's the price we pay, right? Um, we're gonna go to Tapu as um, yeah, he goes for HJK. It's not gonna kill, and after leftovers and. Um, grassy terrain I'm definitely in the clear there but um not gonna fall for a poison jam I'm not <laughs> um we'll see what he decides to do he goes for knock why does he go for knock I can't believe he went for knock <laughs> oh gosh dang it well that's sad um so we lose that that's rough quite rough. I don't know what's going on in the world right now. Um, we're going to go for flamethrower so we don't miss. No, I want to go for steam. I mean, technically I should have brought this in a while ago. I want to keep Tapu around because that's what's going to be helping me. Um, battling drill 1v1 especially at this point so he brings in slow bro he just misses so that's neat um but we get the toxic off because he goes for psychic and that's fine by me uh i don't like this <laughs> i'm quite annoyed um the Mian Xiao is really doing a lot more to me than I ever expected. I need to find a way to get Kiraman. <laughs> um, well, let's see here. Actually, this Volcanian has 188 Spadef. Come on, let's come back from this. Come on, stay in the game. Um, defensive, psychic. Let's put a psychic on here. Um, psychic does 23 to 28. Um, if he has no spatak investment. So, how will that fare against my Kyurem, which I'm pretty sure is minus spadef nature, unfortunately? Um, it's enough to definitely break the sub. <laughs> Dang it. Um,. I guess we'll just go for a steam eruption or flamethrower. I don't know. So it goes right into it. Interesting. Um, I don't know what he's going to want to do here. Whatever he's going to do, he's going to have to immediately mega evolve. So. You wouldn't be fun to take. If he so has it. Versus my Volcanian. Earthquake is 39 to 46. Which is not fun. We'll just see what he decides to do here. So he decides to heal Bell. Okay. We get the burn. That's super good. Um, We could go to Tapu here. 
I don't know what that would really do for me. If I could kill off a Zoltaria, I mean, this would be incredible. But unfortunately, life is not that good sometimes. So he stays burned. That's cool. I'm fine by that. Um, he doesn't really have a switch in, you know? If he goes for Hyper Voice right now, I swear, <laughs> every inkling of my body, there would just be no happiness in this world. There'd be none. I would be so sad. Um, against Cure. My custom set Cure. Like, that'd be so sad if that was the case. Uh, Iron Head does 67 to 79 if he doesn't have any investment. I'm going for sub. I'm going for it. Good. <laughs> I was really nervous. <laughs> um, but this is the position I talked about that I wanted to be in. So, I'm okay with that. Is he gonna go for it? Is he... Is he going to predict the Z freeze shock? Is he gonna do it? <laughs> he very well could. Um, what is the speed on this thing? Yeah, to outspeed drill if he's not scarf. He doesn't know I have Iron Head yet. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I ain't revealing nothing, my guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, if I, if I lost the free shock there, I would have been really upset. <laughs> um, I don't know what he's going to want to do here. Um, he very well could go back to drill, but he decides not to, which is really nice. Um, there's no way he's going to stay in, right? There's no way. I just, as much as I want to predict like a free shock kind of play, I can't do that right now. Um, losing slow bro would not be fun for him, for sure. Um. We'll sub as he goes for that. Now it looks like he's just trying to stall out my, uh... he's doing it. He's definitely doing it. <laughs> um... Oh, that's frustrating. Classic stall. Could have killed him off, surprisingly enough. Um... So he has Scarf. Could easily go to Volcanion right now, but is he going to predict that? If so, what would he go into? <laughs> I have the easiest switch in in the book. Would he go to Altaria? Either way, he doesn't. And we're just going to press Roar, because then that'll get some nice residual. Good. So that's nice. <laughs> so what do I do here? Do I go for Roar again? <laughs> 
go for flame. Okay, good. He's just, I can definitely see him just wanting to debug here, yeah. Not a big fan of what's happening, man. He's got scarf drill. Very interesting. Oh my god, why is that so loud? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. What should I do here? I can definitely see him going to Altaria. Altaria to pieces. I'll go to Kiram. As he goes for crunch. Okay. He could sucker, it shouldn't kill. aftermath <laughs> um whoops that's annoying i made a bad play wow i'm just really not good this season guys <laughs> like really 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 not good um he goes to this like why wouldn't you poison jab right now right like yeah um oh that's so lame <laughs> that's so lame not a fan of that at all. I, ima I imagine aftermath would still work if he went for if I went for Z move, but I don't know. Yeah, this Mian Shao did some work, dude. Um, bit of much of plays that I wouldn't necessarily do. <laughs> um, but that's just me. Sucks about this poison. Otherwise, I'd be at really good health always. <laughs> um, he just has a really stally team, and it just sucks to, you know... Go down to this much. I think I've got one chance here. And that's Bulu right now. Okay. <laughs> oh god, that's so annoying. <laughs> There's just nothing I can do, man. I kill him and that's a need and all, but like, <laughs> he just presses EQ with uh, drill and he wins. It's so annoying. GG. This is a terrible season, guys. Ugh. Man. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm totally at a loss. <laughs> it, it's really... I did pretty well for March Madness thus far, but that's it. I just have not found any gripping on this season. I just... I, I'm totally at a loss. I don't know what to do. Definitely my worst loss yet. That puts Rob at 3-0 and I'm at 0-3. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's going to take a lot to, like, come back from this at this point. I'm definitely on the lower bottom, I'm on the bottom 50th percentile right now. Ugh. There are some things like the sleep powder and, like, toxic, I don't know. There's, 
I don't know. There were just certain things that were a little bit frustrating. Overall, weren't the biggest phasings. I mean, he just made plays that I definitely wasn't expecting. So, I mean, what can you do about that? But, um, yeah, because Mian Chao stayed around for so long. And then I needed to keep Tapu around a little bit longer. And then get lucky with the sleep rolls like I did in order to be able to handle that. Um, I predicted... Um, it was just really weird that he went for knock on my Tapu. I'm not sure why he did that. Like, he definitely would have died, so... I don't know. Short battle. Didn't have a lot of time anyway, so... But thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, until later. Peace.